Final leg here for the second episode of This Week in Track and Field, here to talk about a couple of results that went down over the past week, as well as some news stories that have been going on in the world of track and field. We're going to start things off with the NCAAs, which had their second weekend of competition, couple schools still competing. First off, from Iowa, we have Jalen McCoynico, also competing at his home meet in Iowa. In the 60 meter hurdles, he ran an NCAA leading time of 7.66 seconds. Again, it's only the second week of the NCAA season, but that time actually was only bettered by three people last season. Grant Holloway, Daniel Roberts, and Trey Cunningham. So this sets him up for a really good position leading into the start of the 2020 year and then really going into NCAAs this year. So look out for McCoynico from Iowa. Moving a little farther out west to Utah, we have Zach McHorter from BYU also competing at his home meet. In the pole vault, he managed to jump 5.70 meters, which is a massive personal best for him. Before this, his indoor best was 5.12 meters and only his outdoor best was 5.30 meters. So this is really significant. Last year, this would have placed him fifth in the NCAA for the year, so this is definitely setting himself up well going into the 2020 NCAA season. Finally, from Oklahoma, we have Makisha Welcome. She was competing at Kansas State this weekend, and in the triple jump, she managed to jump 13.35 meters. She's only a freshman, so this is her first jump in the NCAA ever. She's the NCAA leading performer in the triple jump, and actually only 10 women last year jumped farther than this mark for her, so she's definitely going to be setting herself up well going into NCAAs in 2020, so look out for welcome. Now we have one pro result, Stuart McSweden from Australia who's competing in his home country in the 10,000 meters. He managed to set a national record personal best of 27 minutes, 23.38 seconds. Huge performance from him. Of course, Australia gets really early because they have their summer season, but this is a huge performance from him. He was 12th at the world championships this year in the 5,000 meters. This was just a step ahead of his 10,000 meter personal best. So he's showing that he's definitely going to be leading into 2020 next year on a high note with this 10,000 thousand meter personal best. Now a little bit of news we have the World Anti-Doping Agency which just announced this week that Russia is going to be banned for a further four extra years which is going to include the Olympics next year as well as the World Championships in 2021. Russia has already been banned since 2015 after the World Championships in Beijing that year so now this makes eight full years that they have been banned from the sport of track and field. Of course we never want dopers in the sport so this is a really good thing they're keeping them out but there's a couple athletes like Maria Lasaskine Sergei Shubenkov and Zelda Sudorova. All three of these athletes are really at the top of the sport right now in their events and they have shown for the past couple years that they can compete clean. They have been competing as authorized neutral athletes but every single year they have to renew their status and prove again that they are clean. So we also have to note that this is hindering a couple of the athletes who are proving that they're clean year in and year out but luckily they're still able to compete in the sport. So we're going to see the progression of what happens with Russia over the next couple years. Finally on Thursday the 19th we're going to have the Bowerman Award announced for the NCAA. This is the highest accolade that an athlete can receive after the NCAA season and there have been some great recipients over the past couple years since it was started in 2009. This year's finalists for the Bowerman, three on the men's side, three on the women's side. We have Grant Holloway from Florida for the sprints and hurdles. We have Mondo Duplantis from LSU for the jumps, the pole vault, and then we also have Divine Oduduru from Texas Tech for his accolades at the sprints. Then on the women's side, we have three as well. We have Shakari Richardson from LSU for her sprints. We have Yannick Brown from Arkansas for her hurdles and then we have Yanis David from Florida for her jumps. So great finalists. All of these ladies and guys put on amazing NCAA seasons. One for the books with a lot of NCAA records, a lot of great performances. So this is definitely going to be something we're looking out for on Thursday. Alright so those are the highlights for this week. Another really light week but we're definitely going to have a lot more coming in 2020 so keep tuning in. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and we'll be back in the next video. Thanks.